Well, welcome back. It seems like just about every day, no matter where you get your news, attacks and jabs come from both politicians on both sides of the aisle. And it is any of it accomplishing anything or is any of it warranted or is it more self-serving than serving the needs of we the people? Bob takes a look at the current state of bipartisan politics or lack thereof. Have many of our elected governmental leaders, our branches of government, and even many of us let our system down? Both political parties have the opportunity to really shine and show the world how a democracy of the people for the people really works. A president with a background like none other, a president determined to make change and make it happen here at home and around the world was elected. But rather than take defeat in stride, his opposition dug in their feet and made their mission very clear. Stop him at every move, block appointments, attack members of administration and their families and call for investigations. Well, I can't speak for the founding fathers, but I do imagine most of us would have rather seen the seasoned elected leaders of this nation on the losing side stand tall and agree, albeit not their presidency, but the time had arrived to help guide the relative newcomer on his course. Not to agree with him 100%, but offer criticism constructively and work with him to mold initiatives to help all not just try to shut them down and shut the door on all of them, forcing his hand to get them done on his terms. But many in Congress chose not to. Members of the media criticized daily. A large portion of the electorate followed right along. Well, in my estimation, that was strike one for a form of government for the people and by the people. Barack Obama dealt with all that daily. He may not have been all things to all Americans, but he was our president. Then Donald Trump got elected. I'd say at this point, strike two is a given. The bat is off the shoulder, the ball about to cross the plate, and there is no way the media or the opposition can turn around now. And now there's talk of spying, constitutional crisis, special investigations to investigate the investigators. It is now hitting a fever pitch, all leveled at administrations past and present. It was we the people who swung for the fences in 1776. We didn't hit it out of the park the first time. We had a few dirty plays, but early on we did our best. We rounded third, we made it home together. It's not the United States of Republicans. It's not the United States of the Democrats, and that's good. One side doesn't have to like the other side's ideas, but it's time to stop kicking sand around the sandbox and dig in to take care of things in an example setting mature, coherent manner. Leading. The Founding Fathers gave us one shot at this. Democracy's success is not a given. It's a process that has to be worked on by all sides, not just one or the other, ever. Did we forget that united we stand, divided we fall?